What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Uh, a lot of people always ask me about the things that's going on in Chicago. I guess they know I'm a real drill historian. I really be documenting the culture for a long time. I feel like this time period is a period a lot of people gonna go back on and look at it and be like, damn, it was rough as hell out here. So that's the reason why I document these stories. Recently, it's been a lot of rappers losing their life in Chicago, and I mean a lot of rappers. It had been over like seven to ten rappers killed within the last year and a half. Uh, it had been like five, six rappers murdered within the last five months. That's getting rapid and rapid. The killing's getting bolder and bolder. We even had a rapper lose his life walking outside of the jail. You know, this shit getting crazy. Uh, a lot of people are always asking me about that. Recently, a guy actually lost his life by the name of Duke Acapella. That's one of the Chicago rappers that we all know. He was actually doing this shit for a long time. You know, people consider him like a real street legend on some rap shit in the drill culture, to be honest with you. Uh, he recently lost his life. A lot of people always ask me about that within these last couple of days. So today we're going to take Duke Acapella to the board. I actually got some information already on the board, so it's a little different than I normally do it because I just got some reports and talked to somebody and a few people who kind of gave me some information on this, you know. I actually had an opportunity to talk with Duke. That's on my old YouTube channel that YouTube has snatched from me and shit like that. I was able to get it back, but some videos I wasn't able to get back, and that's one of the videos that I wasn't able to get back. I recently dropped an interview with 800 Stacks. That's actually Duke, close homie. And I actually interviewed Guala Man, which is a friend of Duke, uh, too. So I feel like I got a small temperament of the situation. Now, I wasn't there, so I can't give you this shit 100%. So what I say ain't law. So don't be acting like what I say law. What I say ain't law. But uh, I was able to get my hands on some police reports. I was able to talk to a lot of people close to the situation and people who was around the situation when it happened. So we're going to give you some background. I'm going to break down what happened and this is what we're going to do. So today we're going to talk about Duke Acapella. Actually, I already got his name on the board. Uh, some people call him Lil Duke. So you got Lil Duke or Duke Acapella. One of the first things I noticed about Duke was he was a GD, okay? Now with the GDs, you, I guess in Chicago it's the thing that's like renegade and things like that. You could be a GD, but don't fuck with the GDs. Anybody can get it, you get what I'm saying? So I know it's confusing, but that's how it is. It's confusion in this shit, man, but you understand that's what it is. Uh, another thing is I noticed he was an op of Young Pappy, okay? And Young Pappy is a legend when it comes to this drill rap shit. And a lot of people love Young Pappy. So I noticed instantly that it could probably be dangerous uh, for this guy because it's a lot of love for this dude, you know? I instantly noticed that Duke Acapella was a rapper. When you go to the YouTubes and the internet, you see a lot of rap songs and shit of him, especially diss songs and shit earlier in the drill culture. Because he was doing this shit early when a lot of people was doing this shit too. Uh, another thing I noticed, though, that was crazy was he got a record. This dude got a background, you know what I'm saying? This dude got a goddamn background. Uh, some with him actually went viral in Chicago, like, in 2015, I think 2016, 15, one of them years. Uh, it was a shooting in, like, Wrigleyville. He was in, like, a shootout and shit. The shit made the newspapers and all kind of shit. So, this public records. I ain't trying to put him out. You know, this is public record, though, you know? So, uh, I noticed he had a background and things. I actually think he beat an attempt murder, too. So, this guy had a history with, like, you know, uh, activity and shit like that. Just a tip you, you know, he was uh, legitimate. You know, I talked to a lot of people who told me that um, he was no play play. He was the type of dude that didn't fuck around with nobody. You didn't want to fuck around with him. He'll come through on your ass. And I talked to a lot of people who told me he was a good dude. He was a family guy. A lot of people fuck up early in their life. The internet kind of just hyped it up because of his beef for young pappy. So I want to be honest with you. That's what I was told. You know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, so he, I noticed another thing that he was locked up for a while. So this guy was going to jail. Uh, he had a record. He had a background. Remember, when you got a background, you know, when you get in the beef or you get in the altercation, a person going to approach you aggressive as hell because they know you're going to approach them aggressive as hell. So something small like stepping on somebody's shoe or bumping somebody will lead to one of these because you got a background. People know you don't play. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing about having a background that can get scary too. Um... But I actually had an opportunity to get my hands on some police reports. Uh, talk to a lot of people close to the situation. Um, 
what happened it's kind of very blurry to me to be honest with you because i just dropped a video about five days about something that's eerie similar to what happened um i dropped the video five days about the shootings that's happening on the expressways and how it's dangerous riding on the e-way now because people getting killed on the e-way people getting shot in front of the jails and all kind of shit. uh according to the police a couple of days ago Lil Duke was riding on the expressway, okay? At 2.30 p.m., two people in the car, okay? They say Duke was in the passenger seat, okay? The police claim, and this is what in the paperwork, when you look in the paperwork, okay? The police is claiming that Duke then was riding on the Eisenhower, okay? They riding on the Eisenhower, uh, like on California Avenue. Okay. When a car ride up, they're riding on the e-way. They're just on the e-way chilling, riding, getting to their way. When a car rides up on the side of them, and they get to blinking. I'm talking about blicking on the e-way, not blicking on the street. I'm not not blicking uh, through a car, through somebody on the street or on the porch or some shit. These people are blicking on the e-way with regular citizens, terrifying regular people, regular people riding home from work, riding to work, riding, just picking up their kids from school. Remember, it's 2.30, so ain't no telling who in the car. And motherfuckers out there blicking this shit. Um, his friend get hit, Duke get hit in the head. Duke was killed. Okay? According to the police. Now, that's crazy because uh, it's been a lot of shootings on the expressways, you know? Um, this is actually an open case. His shooters haven't been caught. His killers haven't been caught. Uh, but a lot of people want me to give my conclusion. It's kind of hard because this was fresh. Normally, I can give you a conclusion and tell you what I think, but this is going to be hard because this shit just happened a couple days ago. But to be honest with you, one thing that kind of alarms me is, we're going to get to that. Uh, I'm not going to lie. When I look at this, I notice everything kind of points to, like, gang banging. GD, the beef with Young Pappy with some gang banging shit. Rap disses, dissing gangs and shit, you know? Uh, locked up and shit on some shooting shit, gang banging. Then this would alarm me, the expressway. Because more than likely, if you get shot on the expressway, two things can happen. Some random, crazy, goofy, hillbilly type shit. And that might be a little rare in Chicago. Me personally, I think when someone, you know, and it's not for Duke, but I think when someone gets shot on the E-Way, you might have not knew it, you might have been chilling. You might have just been eating chicken at the house, you know, sitting on the porch, finna get in your car, not knowing it, but it was somebody watching you. Somebody laying on you. While you were sitting down, chilling, going, and then you got up and got to your car, not even noticed it, cutting your radio, cutting your music on. It was somebody like this. They had this shit, somebody had behind the car. You don't even see them, look, they had waiting on you to get in the car. So you get in the car, start it up, ride off, motherfucker get in their car. Shh, shh. Cut the car on. Right behind you, you don't even see him. You get on the e-way, motherfucker, get on the e-way. They finna do you dirty. You know what I'm saying? And when I see that, now I know, I'm not getting it wrong. You can get spotted on the e-way because a lot of people be riding on the e-ways and shit like that. But uh, I don't think this was that case. I think this guy was probably being followed and watched and he didn't know it. Um, but when somebody take the chance on the e-way, follow you and watch you, it kind of feels like some revenge shit, you know? in my opinion. You know, I'm not sure exactly what Duke did or what he didn't do, you know. It could be somebody hating on him, you know, or it could be any of that shit, you know. But in my opinion, when I see the E-Way, it just kind of feels like some revenge to me, you know, kind of feels like some get back, to be honest with you. I could be wrong because it's an open case, so which means this board could be updated at any moment. But I want to tell y'all something that's real, you know. You got to be careful out here because sometimes the get back ain't tomorrow. The get back ain't three days. The get back ain't next month. The get back ain't next year. The get back ain't a year in the head. The get back ain't two years. The get back ain't three years. The get back ain't four years. The get back ain't five years. Sometimes the get back could be six, seven years. Right when you chilling and forgot about that shit, my fuck gonna pull up on you, you know. And, you know what I'm saying? So... You got to be careful out here. You know, sometimes you can change your life. You can do the right thing. But 
Somebody else ain't forgot about that shit. They ain't okay with you doing the right thing. Fuck all that shit. They remember what you did in your past. You know, so I'm not saying that's exactly what this case, but that's a sad situation because it looks like Duke was changing his life. And he was one of them niggas when it came to that music. He was very hot in the city. I think he had an opportunity to blow. But uh, remember, we don't need no donations. You can keep them to yourself. Uh, it's hard out here. You ain't got no time to be giving me nothing. You know, it's hard outside. And the summer here. You know, you might want to try to hurry up and get the kids something for the summer because the shit in the end. It looks like the fall coming. So you're going to have to hurry up and get them hoodies. You got to go get those ripped jeans. School time coming. You got to go get the school supplies and stuff like that. You ain't got no time to be thinking about a way to send me some money. You want to support me, I'm going to show you how you do it. You pull your finger up like this. You hit that like button. Bing. Guess what happens when you hit that like button? It make my videos grow. Especially when it get like a thousand likes, two thousand likes, three thousand likes. If my shit get like four thousand likes, then I'm all the way at the top. Then a lot of people be able to see it. I appreciate the love. It's the homie True Teller, the street reporter. Bleh, 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 bleh.